Hello everyone, my name is Shay Girfan and in this video we are going to see polymeric fibers. See we are seeing the classification of fibers, various types of artificial fibers, various types of natural fibers. We have seen glass fibers, what is steel fiber, what is carbon fiber. Now we will see the polymeric fibers. <music> which are polymeric fibers following are the polymeric fibers that are we use in fiber reinforced concrete first is nothing but acrylic fibers then we have nylon fibers then aramid then polyester material fiber then polyethylene fibers then polypropylene fiber so all these are the polymeric fibers see the word here polymeric fibers poly means many so this type of fiber will have many parts and what is poly means poly means many parts that fiber which will have many parts see as the pictures here you can see the picture it will have many threads or many shreds in this type of fibers so polymeric fibers will be that fiber which will have many parts simply many threads it will have and this polymer fibers will have high strength and they will be having low modulus of elasticity then the length of polymeric fibers will be in the range of 1.2 cm to 5 cm see the first that is nylon fibers which are synthetic fibers this nylon fibers are nothing but synthetic fibers synthetic fibers means they are textile fibers or you can say uh, those fibers which are made by chemical synthesis so these are nothing but synthetic fibers that are textile fibers and they are used because of its high strength and resilience now what is resilience the capacity to recover from very difficult loads or even for simply it is toughness so it will have good high strength and also the resilience and this nylon fibers will have high aspect ratio and we have seen what is aspect ratio it is nothing but ratio of length to diameter of fiber than the polypropylene so nylon fibers will have high aspect ratio than the polypropylene fibers and the length of nylon fiber will be generally 0.75 inches then in polymeric fiber category we have polypropylene fibers and these are most widely used in especially in ready mixed concrete and they are hydrophobic what is hydrophobic means means they will do not absorb any water so they are hydrophobic we can say it we can take it as an advantage because there will not be any vol volume percentage changes of water or there will not be any increase in the volume due to the absorption of water as this type of fibers will not absorb any water as they are hydrophobic means they will repel the water so there they, these are good and they will not absorb the water and they are widely used in ready mix concrete so length of this polypropylene fiber will range from 6 mm to 50 mm length of nylon fiber will be 0.75 inches which is approximately equal to 19 mm and this length of polypropylene fibers will be in between 6 mm to 50 mm So what are the advantages of using this polypropylene or nylon fibers? These are one of the most common or important poly polymeric fibers. So let's see what are the advantages it has. First, it will improve the cohesion of the concrete mix. Means our concrete will have proper cohesion if you are using this type of fibers. Then it also improves freeze and thaw resistance, especially in the regions of cold or where there are chances of snowfall our concrete may subject to freeze and thaw action that is in the colder regions the water will either freeze or it may thaw and because of that there are chances of cracks in the concrete so this by using this type of concrete it will improve the freeze and thaw resistance then improve resistance to segregation what is segregation separation of constituent materials of concrete so it will have resistance against segregation of materials means 
the concrete matrix will be act as a single homogeneous material and there will not be any separation of material as i told you that this concrete will be cohesive enough that is opposite of segregation so this type of concrete will be cohesive and it will be having good resistance against the segregation then it will have improved impact as well as abrasion resistance that is it will be having good resistance against the impact and it will also have abrasion that is wear and tear resistance so this type of concrete can also be used at places where there are chances of impact to the concrete such as factory floors then industrial building floors and abrasion resistance especially in the pavements where there are chances of wear and tear of the surface due to the vehicles so this type of concrete can also either be used at the places where there are chances of impact and also the vibration then this polymeric fibers such as polypropylene and nylon fibers will also increase resistance to plastic shrinkage during the curing there are chances of shrinkage of the concrete due to the curing so at the time of curing it will reduce the shrinkage and it will resist the plastic shrinkage then it will improve the structural strength of the concrete then reduce the steel reinforcement requirements because as we are using this type of fibers so the main steel that is conventional steel requirement will be less or reduced due to using this type of fibers then improved ductility these materials are ductile in nature therefore our concrete will also be ductile and therefore it will first give warning before ferial and it will not fail directly by the brittleness so it will give first warning and then it will fail therefore it will have good ductility and it will also reduce the cracks in the concrete so this was the video about polymeric fibers and we are seeing the classification of fibers and these are nothing but artificial fibers we have seen nylon fibers polypropylene polyester fibers these are nothing but polymeric fibers and these are the types of artificial fibers that we use in the fiber reinforced concrete thank you